Hello everyone, I am IA Roadkill and we are playing Farming Simulator 19. We are homesteading Grizzly Mountain with hard economy and no loans. We are playing on the PlayStation 4 and this is episode 12. Don't forget to hit that like button. So it's time for me to go to sleep. I didn't notice what time it was. It is 20. So we'll go to sleep for, you gotta back up before you can reload it again. We'll make it 11 hours. That should be 7 o'clock. No more space. Oh my goodness, the sheep have gone crazy. That means we've lost money because it couldn't put the wool pallets anywhere. That is a learning experience. I didn't know we had that much, but I guess I didn't come back and check before I went to bed. Ah, oh, bummer. Bummer, bummer, bummer. I didn't even look to see if the crops are done. Nope, doesn't look like it. They just turned. Alright, so we can do that. After we push some pallets out of the way, I mean, it would have been, whoa. Boy, you're messy, sheep. Oh, that's right, I hit them and I pushed them into the way. Darn it. Oh, man. I gotta get rid of this stick. We'll put it in the center here. And we'll put it right here, so if I'm headed that way, I'll remember to take it. Alright, so we're gonna we're gonna harvest some corn. Here, I better clean these up. Oh, a little low. How low can you go? Still a little low. There we go. Come on, you can do it, you can do it. Okay, let's see here. I need, what do I need, what do I need? I need to go rent a harvester. Ooh, I forgot about figuring in the price for a harvester. Darn it. Well, let's see. Harvester. If we got the super cheapest one, it rents for $4,000. If we get to something I like, it rents for $5,000. Alright, we're going to have to look at the heads. I may have to suffer through leasing the cheapest one. All right, let's see here. Headers, 4.2, four. Okay, the New Holland is out. Five for the Argamash. All right, so. 1,600, 1,300, so it's $300 more to move up. No, nope. come on, there you go. 4,200, 
5,300. So it's 1,100 plus 200, so it's 1,300 to move up. 1,300 for 45,000 versus 35,000. That would be a little bit handy. Okay, so what did we say it was? We need to have a base count here. 5,000, well that's alright, 5,300 versus, oh, it doubles. Not going there. Alright, I'm going to splurge for the Nova. And that was a 5 meter header. Alright, that'll make it a little bit tolerable. I will lease that. Yes. And I want to lease that. And how am I going to get a corn header? Son of a gun. Um... Headers are attached to harvesters. No kidding. Um, is that the one I needed? No, that's the Nova right there. I have tried this one, and it does not work on the uh, on the Nova. You have to go with this one. So. Um, I will just have to drive the harvester back here to get it. What should we harvest first? I shouldn't have brought that truck. I need that to haul the... Oh, man. Let's see here. Trailer headers. It doesn't say how long it is. Well, we'll see if that doesn't work. Looks like the corn header is smaller, so we'll drive with that on. Gonna have to run back up here with the bucket tractor to... Wow, I lined that up pretty good, didn't I? I'm not sure how that's supposed to work, but it lifted the front end up, end up. No, I did not mean to do that. Pretty sure you're just supposed to set it down and then disconnect it. But I wouldn't think it would bounce you like that. This thing better have a trailer hitch. Oh good, it does. I have never used a trailer on this little guy. I've also never leased him. The follow me mod would sure be good for console about now. All right, so the time is 7.02. So at 8 a.m., my first hour will be up. We have to make sure that we are done with the harvest by then.
Although I don't know what the rate is for the second hour. Probably not too bad. Everything hits you in the first hour. We can go straight for a second. Let's see here. That's what I wanted. Harvester, Nova, Lease, Base Cost, Operating at 2000 for another hour. 2000 and 600. Although I won't be using that. All right, let's just pull right in here. Get this off of there and on to here. And I can turn in the trailer now. I don't think this has to be opened. Nope. All right. We're going to put a worker on that right off the bat and we know that he's going to mess up at the end of the field but oh well we'll go back and clean up after him when we get there I need to run back up to the shop and grab my other tractor since I did not plan ahead and I was just way too excited. Oh, I need to put that in the bucket. I can... Hey! Come on. Come with me. There we go. I will put this in the bucket and take it into the shop. By golly. After I... Oh, everybody's got to jump up and down every now and then. I gotta dump the bucket first. It says it's empty, even if there is a little trace in there. I don't think I can scoop it up. That would be way too easy. Ah. Uh, oh my goodness. Did you see that? I did it first try. Oh my goodness. All right. Let's go. How's he doing? I think he made it up. Uh, he made it all the way to the end, but then when he turned around, he didn't start at the end. I'm going to have to remove those trees down there and see if that doesn't help. I think it's something underground, but... I think I've got a muffler on this tractor. Kind of a loud guy, isn't it? Yeah, I don't think I'm running a straight pipe. Well, it might... Yeah, it's a muffler. Whoa, I drove in the gate full steam. All right, we'll park over here out of the way like we own the place. And we'll get back into the workhorse. I don't know why I drove this down here. We get that big grain wagon full. That little tractor ain't gonna pull it. Well, it might. Everything's pretty flat, but... Use the proper tool for the job. That's what my grandpa used to tell me.
Oh, and then I went and forgot that stick in the <laughs> in the bucket. Oh, that's too funny. All right, we will unload that because we don't need that part. No, that is not what I wanted you to do. I wanted you to detach. There we go. I was just wondering how close he was getting. Oh, and he's going to be going the right direction. And I made the field the right length out here because he gets clear to the end. He doesn't leave anything. I hope this is empty. I don't think I had anything in there still. I think it was ready. see if I can fit underneath the pipe. You know something else I didn't think about? Ooh, there's some straw on the road. I didn't think about renting a, a baler. I'm going to have to do that with the darn bucket. Oh, come on. Get your pipe out. Oh, I was just a second too late. remember what this held. Was it 5,000 or 45? Forty five hundred, okay. That is a pretty small unit. You can go clear to the end this time? You know, that kind of tells me where the uh, problem is. I mean, if he'll plow, or plow, if he'll harvest clear up to here, that means the problem is somewhere right here. Hmm. I say, hmm. All right, well... One, two, three, four, fifth pass, he was full. So. I missed. Should have let him keep doing the job. No! Oh my goodness.
I need to remember how much straw I get off of here. So whatever I do, I need to make that a known amount. I wonder, I don't really like it, but would you be upset with me if I used the milling machine? I could either use the milling machine or, and that would quickly pick it up and put it into, and give me a total. I think for our test, I need to do that. The other thing would be, that was 5,000? 5, 5,000. We could get a loading wagon. Uh, what's it cost to lease that? 2000 I might do that. I will lease that. I can pick up the grass, dump it in a pile. I can pick up the straw and dump it in a pile. And then I could scoop it out with my bucket. I will do that. I will lease that. Per day, $460. I don't know if I want to do that for a day, every day. I'll have to see. What was that little drop for? Oh, just because you turned around? Oh, he says he's almost full. Let's get over here and get the wagon. The trailer. That is just such a small harvester. I don't know. Come on, get up there. My dually tire just about going to hit him. I guess I can get over a little bit. Come on. Keep squirting. I wonder why it quit. So we should have 9,000 plus. Maybe. Yep. Awesome. Hey, don't hit me. Don't drive through my crops. I was going to take the trailer back to the shop, but I'm going to try and be a nice guy and not uh, make them come and get stuff. I'm going to see if I can't do the job and take the equipment back before it's... overtime
Plus, then I'll be able to bring my tractor back. Alright, I'm going to get that loading wagon. Details. And a lease. Yes, I do want to lease that. Thank you very much. There it is. I know the milling machine works. I just have a hard time using it. Not when there's perfectly good real life uh, solutions that actually work. Uh, I know people would argue that my lift uh, bag tool that I use for wood isn't real but it's semi-real. Uh, I do know of a farmer that uses a uh, strap lift to move his logs. He doesn't have a big grapple hook tool. He made his own little hydraulic front, just like that one. But I don't see that many snowblowers actually doing a good job in the game. I mean, in real life. Why did I leave the trailer in the middle of the field? Can you answer me that? It's in my way. Alright. We're going to want to get a total here. I'm going to have to wait until I get that area done. Darn it. Did I miss the notice that he was 80%? Uh-oh. I think someone is confused. Someone is confused. Stop. 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 Hey! That is unacceptable behavior. Well, now you're almost all the way to the end of the field. But you were going to turn around anyway, weren't you? I think I'm going to do the outside edge first. You heard me right. I'm going to do it. I'm probably going to run over crops and destroy stuff. Can you move that bar? Whoops. Yeah, it is what I need. Uh, on. Back. There is no way to move the bar up and down, is there? Oh, maybe? No? There it goes. There, that's a little more realistic. Well, we're 20 minutes into it. I was going to have a... a nice extended logging at the beginning of this episode. I think I'm going to have to make sure that gets edited down to not much. 
because we're going to be overtime just doing the corn and the wheat. And I don't think I can get this in one pass. Not even going to try because then I'll have lots of waste. I got to come back this way again anyway. Why did he pick up speed? Because he filled up. I knew I was going to do that. Man. Just drive over the crops. Now that means my straw amount is going to be a little less for the wheat. Well, missed it. There we go. Oh, that irritates me. There is rain in the forecast. Now that would just bunch my bananas if it started raining on me and I didn't get my harvest done. You heard me right. Bunch my bananas. I didn't know what to say. I left that other tractor running, didn't I? Oh well. Not getting out. Oh, that was the wrong thing to do. There. I keep missing to hit that other bumper to not jump out. Well, what little I did drive on, if it affects, I mean, it's not going to affect the yield that high. If it's that close, then it's supposed to be the same. I'm thinking it's going to be something dramatic, though. It's just my guess. I think it would be. I think this is the small harvest, and the barley will be a phenomenally bigger harvest. At least 10% more. That's my guess. I hope I'm right. I hope it's more than that. Alright. Now I can go down here and finish this strip. And we can go to corn. And that almost took us a half hour. Was this the big field? I think this was the big field, so hopefully the corn will... Yeah, but the corn header's smaller. We might be pushing it for getting that one hour in. Okay, so this is going to be a longer than normal episode. Oh, I might time lapse the corn. I could do that. Little sputter sputters of straw here. One more? Yeah, one more. One more? Nope, he's all done. Why do I keep doing that? That's what I wanted to do. Real farmers don't jump out of the combine going down the road. Not and talk about it later, they don't. Mm. 
727. 728. It's definitely going to push it, isn't it? I'm going to push it right to the limit. I may have to be a meanie and call him up and say, I'm done, come get it. Right at quitting time. If I don't have time to take it in. Look at all that straw he put on the road. Holy cow. That brings us to the end of part one of this episode. I could not get it edited down below one hour, so I figured I would cut it in half. I'd like to thank everyone who stayed to watch the entire video. If you found it enjoyable, I would appreciate it if you would hit that like button. If you would like to see more, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And if you would like to leave a comment, you may do so below. With that said, I would like to wish everyone, including you, a very wonderful day. Goodbye for now.